Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to a new episode of Super Mario World Bowser's Return, Super Mario World Rom Hack. Remember the playthrough is also going to be available on G2PL.com. We're gonna start now the forest. This background. Uh, I am quite sure I saw this background in Panic, one of the Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom games, which makes sense since, as I commented, uh, I'm not sure if it was last time or some previous episodes, that the, one of the authors, or at least the co-author of this hack is Gator Yauth, which is the creator of the Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom series. So yeah, I am pretty sure, and I saw this one in some other game, I don't remember which one, which one of course, I always forget the games the backgrounds are from, well, some of them, I would say most of them. So yeah, Green Fields, they took it a bit too literally. Look at that grass, god damn it. Alright, I need the, the jumping Koopa for me to progress. Like this. Yeah. I'm not trying to get in the pipes because I know there are no bonus games unless you see the two coins over it. As it has been the rule lately. So yeah, green fields, I insist. It's more like a theme for a first world. Not for the third one, I think. I even lost the counts. And as you could see, there will be a, a ship level. Even if it uh, stands over the water, I am pretty sure it's gonna be an airship. You know, the classic Mario 3 ones. Alright, that's a nice uh, hot area effect in the background. Totally not Mario, or taken from the actual Mario game. And I haven't seen this um, sort of technique in, in many hacks, to be honest. So in that sense, this one, being very old, I insist, was pretty innovative at the same time. Oh yeah, I used to have problems in this area, basically because I had no idea how to move the camera, pressing either L or R, depending on the direction you want to take. Ah, uh, well, that was a short jump, because I was trying to get all the money, and yeah, that's what you get. Oh yeah, this is the fortress with a strange trick. First of all, let me become big by cutting the tape, then the extra power-up. Alright, I'm gonna make the save state here. Let me change this, the, the state though. Because if I go through a regular path, you know, the one that is obviously on plain sight, and actually I should wait for those uh, rotating balls and chains because they're gonna help me. I have to press R, of course camera. That's why I, I said I had a lot of problems with this one when I first played it. Even if I managed to beat it somehow uh, without that extra help, the camera thing, uh, it is uh, almost a must. So I did it the hard way. So yeah, I'm going through this area happily. You think, well, it's tough, but you can make it. And oops, surprise, you gotta go back. Yeah, I'm doing it the slow way, I could have show you the solution right away, but that's basically the reason why this direction is the wrong one. So I'm gonna load state right in the midpoint, and surprise, 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 surprise! It is not that hard to figure this out, yeah, basically the midpoint is just the boss, right? So the level itself is extremely short. This must be like the only trick level, trust me. The only one. Alright, let's do Greenfields 2. This looks like a very short world. I am pretty sure there are more levels after I go through the pipe. After the ship. Yeah, I think this is the first time I actually see the cape. Can I fly normally? I guess I can. I can break video game and yeah, go like this. Through all the place. Look at Mario's face when he's doing that trick. It's like whistling. Right, this is working pretty well so far. And I can keep gaining height until now. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I can deal with it. I will let you get another power up though. Well, none of those blocks provided me the power up I wanted. Oh, yeah, this is again one of the parts I had problems with because I couldn't move the camera so well. Well, even so, the jump is actually very demanding. Look at that. 
Uh, I need to get some momentum. Or is it glitching? Like I am pretty sure there should be some Koopa. Or I need to run beforehand. Yeah, I, I'm sure I am fucking it up somehow. Well, I, this time I took the hit, but you can actually ride the platform from there. And again, you have to constantly be moving the camera like this, because you won't be able to see either the Koopas or the other platforms coming from the other side. So you need to be constantly... Uh, you have to see those other platforms very often. Again, I was able... Don't ask me how. I, I Trust me, I didn't use those states back in the day. Um, but... Oh, this is not an, an actual airship. A ship break. Okay, it's a ghost ship. So yeah, as I was uh, trying to say, I actually managed to beat all of those levels, so these tricky levels, uh, without devastating, but still had a lot of trouble to do that. Uh, because I didn't know how to move the camera to either to the left or to the right. Alright, so this one's... I was about to say this one's don't shoot! They shut me up on time. And here we have the flames from Mario 3 that are broken, even up until the present day. Because the hitbox is really nonsensical, to say the least. I don't want to say stupid, because at least they made the effort to put it here. Look at that. Oh, this one... No, that, look at this, for example. That shit didn't touch me yet. However, it killed me. That's more evident, for example, in other hacks such as Luis Adventure. Which, well, I have to re-announce and re-announce and re-re-re-announce that I'll be playing it or replaying it this year. Now one person asked um, on, on the comments, actually a private message, if uh, I was going to replay the original Luigi's Adventure, the one which is the one I re I played first, or the remade version with easier levels and the English translation. I am going to play the original one. I want to replay what I played back in the day, of course, improving the experience, the visual and auditory experience of listening to better commentary to the one back in the day. So yeah, I am totally going to replay the one, which is the original Luis Adventure. I still have it somewhere. So, uh, or if not, I, I'll look for it. But I'm not going to play the overseas edition, which is the one that has, well, a horrible uh, English translation, but it's a translation after all. And there is another level after the actual ship, which wasn't a ghost ship. It has it had the, the ghost house music. Oh, Hammer Brothers. See, they don't appear after a while. Same thing with these guys. So that makes the the hack for the most part. What? <laughs> oh my god, I'm moonwalking. God damn. I forgot how good this hack can be at parts. I forgot about that. I am pretty sure it happened to me every time. I mean, it's not just a glitch that happened right now. I, I am pretty sure it happens every time someone plays that particular area. That was hilarious. Aren't that bird interrupting my fucking jump? What do you want me to do? Well, probably. Not trying to speed run this thing and wait patiently for the bird to appear, go through the place, or just ride it instead. No, I'm not gonna take any risk against you. I don't like Hammer Brothers. They appear in this hack, in the other hack I'm playing right now, Mario's Mission. I am done with this, guys. Well, whatever. I'm taking the hit this time because I am not moved to try to go through them without taking a single hit. Is it gonna be another level? Yeah, castle number three, Roy's castle. We're gonna play before finishing the part, I suppose. Moving star, yeah, the sky is moving, and that, that's a very strange effect because as you are moving, and only as you are moving, the clouds down there are moving too. Uh, I am completely unfamiliar with the design, you know, with the statues, the type of logs, those other statues we saw, uh, those platforms. These are potables. Uh, so yeah, if someone knows pretty much uh, what games these desire were taken from, uh, well, these ones with the three faces, I mean, it has to be, well, bad idea, spin jumping, exactly when I am not supposed to. So yeah, as I was saying, if someone knows where this is from, uh, let me know through the comments. I always would like to become more knowledgeable in terms of what games these ROM hackers take their designs from. 
I'm gonna do boss fight right away. No, this will be an actual second half, unlike the fortress of this uh, particular world, which has been very short. I've been able to go through pretty much all of it in 10 minutes. Probably a bit longer than that. Well, the second half was indeed shorter than this. Roy, okay, should be an easy battle. Two fireballs and one jump over his head, and that should be all. Yeah, it doesn't require some extra effort. And yeah, look at Mario taking the explosion up his face. Mario found a way out of the green fields and has put an end to Roy, Roy Koopa. Onward to the Rocky Valley, where he has to take care of the wheel slide away. Or he will slide away. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty fast, uh. Fade to black transition. Haunted Mansion. Okay, here we have two exits. I'm pretty sure one of them will take me to another of those shops. However, I guess it would be a good idea to try it out, just in case. Uh, because I'm not completely certain. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next episode starting this new world. We're on number four, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. See you later.